Today we turn to Proverbs chapter 31, verses 10 through 31, and I marked it especially this week. <clears throat> A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still dark. She provides food for her family and portions for her servant girls. She considers a field and buys it out of her earnings and plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, and a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned, and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. This is the word of the Lord. I don't know about you all, but that's a woman, right? <laughs> Reading all of those things that is this paragon of womanhood is capable of doing is exhausting. It's exhausting thinking about it. I enjoy and love Proverbs as it is one of the most fun books in our scriptures. It's almost like fortune cookies of the Bible. You can flip it open, find something, and it just makes you laugh. Or makes you go, ugh. Or makes you go, oh. Um, each little piece is some tidbit of wisdom. Throughout Proverbs, however, there are many pieces of advice in regards to women. As in Proverbs 21, 19, better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and ill-tempered wife. Some of us agree. We might switch that wife for husband, right? Uh, or 1822, he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from our Lord. Or this fun one, found in 12.4. A good wife is a crown of her husband, but she who brings shame is like rottenness in his bones. Proverbs, remember, is written for men by men. It's a part of the wisdom literature of our scriptures, but it doesn't always have the most favorable outcome for us as women until you get to Proverbs 31. You got to remember, women's value at this and around biblical times is only for what she can bring to a marriage through her dowry or her looks. Women were regarded as property, and almost the highest form of servitude was to be the wife. However, as we heard, have heard in Proverbs 31, there was some, some good regard for women. The last chapter is often under the title, Ode to a Capable Wife. Or epilogue, literally, the wife of noble character. It provides an interesting view for us today of what the life of a woman would be like. And it, and it also provides us with an interesting dynamic for relationships. And it's a dynamic that we still utilize today. You see, 
Women have undergone a lot of change and transition societally since biblical times. Because let me tell you, I wouldn't have been in the pulpit. They have continually, however, as a person, been less than a man. This dynamic of understanding has been changing, and it began to significantly change after World War II in our society in particular. In 1947, just after World War II ended, the first DC comic publication was Superwoman came out. Who's excited? <laughs> Almost as an alter ego to Lois Lane, who became this force to be reckoned with over the course of the comic edition, but it does eventually fade away. The dynamics of that faded away. But over the years since then, there have also been many versions of Superwoman in comics, in movies, and in the empowerment and equalizing of women in general throughout our country, and the continual evolution of women's and women's understanding throughout our world. However, as we delve into our scripture lesson today, we still have visions of this Superwoman, right? The one who not only cooks, cleans, takes care of the house, but does all the other tasks as well to do with family life. Add in a job and children, and you have the modern day equivalent of a Proverbs 31 woman. What a woman that would be. It's exhausting to think of. But we, as women, though, still try to accomplish this Proverbs 31 ideal. You see, we struggle to be everything to everyone. We work a 40 plus hour job a week to help our family's income. Sometimes we are the only source of income. We pick up children from daycare or back and forth from school. We bring them home. We bake cookies or cupcakes into the wee hours of the morning for the next day's bake sale. We help with school projects and wipe tears. We tuck in and chase away the monsters from under the bed. Then we may or may not fall into bed ourselves after doing a couple loads of laundry, folding, putting away, letting the dog in and out, and picking up toys so we don't trip on our way up the stairs. And to be fair, most of our life partners are right there with us. But today is not about you. Today we celebrate the women in our lives. The women who gave birth to us. The women who are our mothers, our grandmothers, our aunts, our sisters, the mothers of our hearts. Because not everyone is our mother, but they sure act like it. We lift up women in general and honor them for being the wonderful people that they are. I want you to hear a modern day interpretation of Proverbs 31 in the message translation. A little bit more interesting, a little bit more relevant. A good woman is hard to find and worth far more than diamonds. Her husband trusts her without reserve and never has reason to regret it. Never spiteful. She treats him generously all her life long. She shops around for the best yarns and cottons and enjoys knitting and sewing. She's like a trading ship that sails to faraway places and brings back exotic surprises. <laughs> 